In this experiment I want to have a look at distillation. I've got in here a mixture of orange juice and alcohol and what I want to do is distill off just the alcohol down into this flask here. So by heating this we're going to manage to separate the alcohol and the water and produce just alcohol down here. Let's have a go. To start a distillation let's put this into some sort of flask and I'll just draw in a little flask we have a rain bottom flask and in here we're going to place our orange juice with its alcohol in it now we're going to heat this up and as it heats up so this is going to sort of evaporate and move up here so what we're going to do is we're going to connect another piece of glassware to this and what we're going to do is we're going to connect a special type of piece of equipment called a Liebig condenser and what's going to happen with this is that if I just draw this along here we're going to seal this off up the top so none of the precious liquid can escape and instead what we're going to put down here is a thermometer and let's show it's all cleaned up there and let's have our thermometer bulb there that will do so we've got our thermometer we can measure the temperature and what we're going to do is send it down this little tube. Now this little tube is in fact encased in another tube and this other tube, I'm going to draw it in a different color because it might make things a little bit clearer to show they are different tubes. And what I've got is here i didn't press the right button yeah it's all gone wrong there we go water going in and then at the top we've got water going out so the water comes in here rushes up this way surrounding that tube cooling this liquid this, which is a gas here and as it meets the liquid it gets colder and colder and it turns to a liquid and then we collect it coming out of the condenser and we collect this in something like a conical flask. So now let's have a look at the setup of the equipment. We've got our flask which is going to contain our mixture that we're going to distill. This is a round bottom flask. It's basically easier to heat up. And at the moment it's not under. It will be in a minute when we fill it up. This then goes to a distillation head, which is a piece of tubing with a thermometer placed in it. And this thermometer goes up to 100 degrees centigrade, we're going to collect alcohol which is going to boil at around about 80 and I've positioned the thermometer end so it's in line with this tube which is then going to run down this inside tube and around it is another glass tube which is going to fill with water and this is a Liebig condenser and then this will flow out into another little tube which is going to be bent here and catch the alcohol in this conical flask which I've put on a little 
jack. These are quite useful for getting the equipment at exactly the right height. So we can adjust this so it's all the right height. So in theory, we're ready to go. In practice, there's one more little thing that we need to take care of. When we drew the diagram, I set the water to come in through the bottom and out through the top. Now this does seem a bit wrong because we'd expect the coldest water to be up here. But we'll see. So I've set it up wrongly and what we're going to do now is going to put the water on and we're going to see why and what happens when it's set up wrongly. So let's turn the water on. That's enough. Good. I'll do. Leave it. Oh, you, you switched it off. Now we've got the water running. The water comes up here, but I've managed to get an air gap up here. And this bit of the tube won't be cooled properly. This bit will, but that bit won't. So this isn't going to work. So what we need is to have the water going the other way. And this may make some more sense. So let's stop the water going through and we'll just disconnect and see what happens if we set it up the right way. Right, if I now unplug this one, this is gonna let the water flow out and now I'm going to disconnect this end and put the water in at the bottom. So the coldest water is now going to go in at the bottom. And come out at the top. So now the water goes in, it flows much more nicely. That'll do. So the water comes in at the bottom where it's the coldest and it flows up here and comes out the bottom. The liquid that comes out here is hot and it meets here some warmer water. And that warmer water is still much colder than this liquid. So it cools it down. Here we've got colder water and this gas, or maybe even liquid by then, is also colder. So this will manage to take the heat away from that. And at the bottom, we've got the coldest water, and we're meeting the coldest liquid, or gas, and that's going to cool it down. So all the way along, it's actually going to cool, because the water will be cooler than the gas, or liquid, coming down the tube. Looks like we're ready to go. We've got the equipment running, everything's fine. So what I need to do is to take my orange juice that I've fermented. It has a little whiff of alcohol there, which is probably good. And what we want to do is we want to pour some of this in there. like a little bit will go in quite happily. Well it's getting a bit thick at the bottom. I may not really want all of that really thick liquid. No, I think I'll leave that. And now I've got mostly orange juice there. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect this up. I'm going to lift this now onto and make sure it's got a good connection. 
and the ring is then going to hold this and support this. So we've got a ring stand here which will support this and then it's connected to this distillation arm with its thermometer, cooling in the Liebig condenser and collection. We're ready to go. So let's turn the gas on. We've set the Bunsen safely and we'll get going. Now we've got the Bunsen lit, we're now ready to start. I'll just put the safety specs on. And let's start heating up our alcohol mixture that we want to try and separate. So it's going to start gradually boiling. And what we can observe as this happens is we're getting some condensation up in this tube and if you look here you might see some gas just coming down and if we catch down here you might just see some alcohol coming out, dripping at this end. Let's do a little bit more heating up. So we're boiling now quite nicely. It didn't take very long to heat this up, simply because the alcohol in there boils at a much lower temperature and we've got this steadily coming off and I've got a fair amount of alcohol coming out of there. We can look at the temperature here and we can see It's about 85 at the moment. Now that's above the boiling point of alcohol, and so some people think it's immediately gone wrong. But in fact, when you've got other substances mixed in, then we often get boiling point elevation. So this is about right. And we can see the alcohol coming down here and dripping into this conical flask. All right, let's uh, see what we've got. And we've got a, a little smell of alcohol coming off there. Heavily scented with orange juice, I might add. And this will gradually stop. While waiting for that, this is quick fit. All the glass is joined, so we've got these ground glass joints and we push one in to the other and if we twist very slightly then it stays joined. I wouldn't really recommend doing that. What we normally do to fix things properly is we put them in and then we've got these special clips and if I push the clip on very gently then this will grip the top piece and the bottom piece. They're different sizes. In this case, the bottom one is 26 and the top one is 19 millimeters. This will still move, but now it is really firm and can't escape. Yeah, I'll leave that there. This is just about stopped.
and hopefully here we have a small amount of alcohol made which has a slight aroma of orange juice which is not really that surprising. I'll wind this up so it can collect the rest. And what we can do is we can just keep this gradually and gently bubbling so that all the alcohol in there can be collected off. And we can see the alcohol down the outside. And this is now coming out really quite quickly. Perhaps a little bit too quickly. But we can see the classic shape of alcohol on the outside of this container as it sort of gives the sort of, you often get little lines of sort of the alcohol evaporating and then coming back down again. And there we go, it's still bubbling nicely, we're still getting alcohol coming off and we're separating out this alcohol from the orange juice. So we can see they are blatantly different. Orange juice being very orange in colour and you can see it's sort of making a funny mark on the round bottom flask as it's doing so. Yet the alcohol that's coming out here crystal clear showing that all the orange is staying there and we are separating out by distillation at different temperatures the oil the, from the, the oil and water or in this case alcohol and water so there we are this is distillation separating the water and alcohol mixture into alcohol and leaving mostly the water behind. And there we are, nearly pure alcohol.